for Wednesday. I hope you guys are having an amazing day. Let's go ahead and get this thing started. All right. Oh, happy changes are on the way. I see that. Okay, getting from point A to B. Okay, from point A to point B is the title of this reading. Oh, shucks. Hold up, y'all. Let's go ahead and do it. Let me do it right. Okay, we're going to go ahead and go through each element. All right, we're going to see what the energy is for today. Okay, uh, which will be Wednesday for you guys. Today is Sunday, the 24th that I am recording this reading. Happy birthday to any of my Libras that are in here. Okay, it's Libra season, y'all. All right. Okay, somebody could have been watching Martin. Someone's name could be Tommy. Okay. All right. So, what's moving and not moving and shaking? What is going on communication wise? Air element. Thank you, angels and spirit guides, for clearing precise messages for Wednesday. What's going on in the air for. Ooh, whoa, 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 whoa. This is going to be for. We got Eight of Swords. Ooh, okay, Knight of Swords. All right. Knight of Swords to Eight of Swords. Hold on, you guys, because something fell on the floor. I don't know where it went. That's not good. Where did that card go? No. I feel like I'm going to do this again. Because for these cards to fall out like this. So we got Justice and we got the King of Swords. Okay, I'm going to do it again. I'm going to do it again, y'all. Because those cards were face up and everything. Let's clear it. Let's let's try it again. All right, air signs. Air element. For Wednesday. What's the message, Holy Spirit? Thank you, angels and spirit guides, for clearing precise messages. Thank you, Father, for using me as a vessel to get messages to your people. And you all, if you all are new to the channel, welcome in. If you guys are returning back, welcome back. Thank you to each and every one of you guys. For all of your support, likes, shares, comments, and your subscribes. All right. Happy hump day. We're getting from point A to point B. Whoa. Something's going to be explosive. Like, okay. There was somebody doing some type of math. Oh, they was lying and everything. They've been blocked. Whoever this magician is, three of swords, they're hurt. They're hurting. They've been blocked. The Two of Swords, Ace of Swords, they've been cut off and blocked. And we got the Lovers in the Reverse and the Queen of Swords in the Reverse. Okay, this person was deceiving you or deceiving your lover. All right, we got the Five of Swords. Okay, it's a lot. <laughs> That's a messy situation. Okay, that's a lot right there. A whole lot going on over there. Okay, Air Signs, it's a lot going on. Okay, a lot. A lot, a lot, a lot, a lot, okay? I don't even know what to, I don't even know how to read that. That's just a lot. It's a lot. <laughs> a lot going on, okay? But it looks like whoever was lying, they've been, they've been called out. They also have been cut out. They've been removed, okay? There's a magician that was trying to cause a lot of pain, okay? Somebody was using magic to cause you some type of pain, okay? Or angst. All right, anxiety, worry, fear, illusion. Okay, they were trying to sabotage you with the five of swords. I feel like this is no longer a secret, this is in the air. Okay, so people know about this. All right, that's what's going on Wednesday. That's been identified. Okay, let's see. What do I got? Earth element, yeah. Okay, something about a new contract here. Okay, earth signs. Something going on at work, all of this mess. There could be drama in the workspace, okay? Somebody is a lover. Could be a Gemini. It doesn't have to be. It could be a Sagittarius. It's a Queen of Swords in the reverse, okay? Somebody who was lying, okay? Damn. I don't like how these cards coming out. For Wednesday, Holy Spirit, what is the what? Hold on, y'all. Let me, let me spray my hand. I'm going to get our little sage spray, homemade. Mm -hmm. That'll be made available for sale for y'all soon, okay? Okay. Let's see what's up here. 
Show me clearly, Spirit, for my earth signs. What is the going on here? I feel like it's a lot of drama. And I feel like it's even trying to hit the streets. Like, you know what I'm saying? It's trying to even move and shake in the ground at the ground level. We got this seven of pentacles out here. At the bottom of the deck, we got the king of pentacles. Somebody, whatever this they was doing with this magic, the intent was to cause you some type of slowdown, okay? Uh, obstacles, all right? They wanted to put you in a state of evaluation, e evaluation, okay? What is this, Father? What is this? Like, you want it. You got it. Okay. But I feel like with that King of Pentacles coming out, that King trumps them Seven of Pentacles for me. So it's like whatever they were trying to do, it did, it was unsuccessful. It was ineffective. Okay, the magic was ineffective. It's like this, it backfired. Something here backfired, and it's it's only hurting the people who sent it to you. Okay, whatever that's about, this attack, whatever these they were lying on you about. Okay, or maybe somebody said you was a liar. I don't know. But this only reversed back onto this person. I feel like whoever the person is, they wish they had a nail but spoke your name. Okay? Not in that way. Okay? Somebody could have been wishing death upon you. I'm hearing that song about 50 saying, many men, many, 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 many men wish death upon me. I ain't gonna cry no more. Won't let my heart turn curl cold. Okay? Something like that. Shout out to 50 Cent. Okay, what is this element? We got our emotionals, okay, on an emotional level. What are we feeling? What is our feelings got going on? That was my energy, the Ten of Cups and the Nine of Cups. Okay, y'all, y'all, man, y'all over here, y'all ain't think about none of this. Actually, you guys are over here manifesting a wish. Y'all are manifesting the Ten of Cups. It looks like it's coming in. There's a wish being granted. What's at the bottom of the deck? The Five of Cups. Somebody's sad about this. Okay, but I feel like that's my energy. So let's clear that. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Bring it back to the collective. Mm. Mm. So how are they going to be sad that you getting a wish, a dream come true? Why is they mad about that? That don't make no sense. Don't answer that, Spirit. I'm just asking out loud. I'm just, I'm just saying. Okay. All right. Emotional. Water signs. What's going on for the emotions? The element of water. Thank you, Spirit. Okay, so we got Page of Cups, so something unexpected. Okay, someone, um, something, oh, an unexpected death or an unexpected ending. Okay, that could be why, who, some, somebody over here, whoever this, oh, I don't wish death on nobody, Lord. They wish death on you, though, but I feel like, okay, so if that's the vibe, they was wishing death on you, that death that they wished on you came back on them. That's why they're in the Three of Swords, because the Three of Swords is out here, the magician. Somebody manifested some type of death for themselves by trying to block you, but now they see they, act, they did this to themselves. Whatever this is, y'all, this person, they did it to themselves. Goodness gracious, why won't folk just leave people alone? You know what I'm saying? I don't understand it. I don't. I don't. I don't. Okay, let's see what's coming out. Oh, damn, the four of wands flipped over. I'm going to flip it back over. Okay. Four of wands. All right. For my fire signs, Holy Spirit. For the element of fire. Fire signs. I feel like y'all like, we don't want no parts. <laughs> I just heard somebody say that. We don't want no parts. <laughs> we don't want none of that, okay? We don't want to be a part of none of whatever that is right there. I don't know what the air sign energy got going on, but no, thank you. Like, no, okay? Uh, <laughs> I can see my fire signs now like, hell no. We, we no. <laughs> we not doing that, okay? I am royalty. <laughs> That's how the fire signs are. Okay, all right. The earth, y'all gonna y'all just hovering above it. Y'all like, mm -mm, you can't slow me down. I got my mind on my money and my money on my mind. Okay, and emotionally though, it's like there is a there is somebody could be there is an unexpected death. Okay, maybe you didn't expect for something to end, or someone didn't expect for something to end, and they're feeling it with the three of swords. Whew. Water signs. I just don't even know what to say. I'm speechless. I'm speechless. 
All right, fire signs, what's up? Thank you, Holy Spirit. What is going on on Wednesday for my fire signs? As we get from point A to point B, what is the happening? Thank you, Spirit. Knight of Wands. Okay, so we got the Knight of Wands here, fire signs. The bottom of the deck, the Five of Wands. Okay, I feel like somebody wanted to smoke with you. Oh, but they didn't know you was a warrior with the Nine of Wands. Somebody tried to go like head up with you. Somebody tried to really do that. They tried to compete with you. Ace of Wands, the Sun card. Somebody really was trying to compete with like somebody. Oh, why they do that? Oh my goodness. Somebody was that was trying to somebody fire sign. Somebody is in competition with you. But I feel like you're not in competition with them. You're like, there is no competition. And it's like they, because you didn't, you didn't fall into it or you didn't play along or you didn't, you're not, in, you're not interested in the, you're not doing it. I just feel like, like that vibe that I got from a fire sign, like we don't want no parts. I feel like somebody tried to pull you or tempt you into some BS and you was like, no, and no. And so they ended up having to, duke it out with themselves something just was like a no for you fire signs and it's leaving another energy to have to just deal with that on their own like they gotta take that somebody could have even been trying to give you their karma okay or bring i feel like somebody wanted to smoke with you they was trying to bring you some type of obstacles and fire signs you hit them with the, we not doing that, okay? <laughs> Y'all, this has been your first part of the read. Give me just a minute to clear the board, and I'll check you guys in the second half. Just a minute. All right, you guys. Y'all, as I turned off the camera, I had the loudest spiritual belch. It let me know that everything I just told y'all was right, okay? We are right on the money. Mm-hmm. Yep, that's the vibe. Okay, so let's get into it. Getting from point A to point B. Happy hump day, you guys. And if I haven't said this already or if I have, sorry for being repetitive, but welcome in, you guys, if you are new and if you're returning back, welcome back, okay? Um, so, you guys, for this reading, I asked God what his plans were next. I'm like, Lord, what are, you, what are, the, what are your plans? What's your next moves? What are we doing? Where are we going next? What you got, boys? What you got, Okay. And God showed me, let me pull up this picture of what he showed me. Okay. One moment. He showed me a compass, but not, not the kind of compass that senses direction. No, not that compass. He showed me this compass. He showed me a drawing tool that is a compass okay he showed me this right here y'all remember these in school hold on one second all right he showed me one of those okay you guys remember that in math class all right um so some of you guys use them in art too. But anyway, he showed me that and it's called a compass, okay? It's a drawing tool um, and it's called the compass. He showed that to me and it's the instrument that's used to draw even circles or draw a half circle into another circle. You draw circles within circles, okay? But either way, it's the, the, um, the idea is to complete a circle, okay? So it told me, he told me by showing me that, that God's plans are to make us whole and complete in this next season, okay? So there will be two moving parts that combine to create God's plan for us in this next season or this vision of wholeness that he has for us, okay? There will be two moving parts you guys i don't know what those moving parts are he didn't give me that detail but there will be two the number two is significant and there will be moving parts two moving parts that will combine or connect to create the vision of wholeness okay the vision of his plan okay so 
I want you guys to be on the lookout for what those two moving parts could be for each of you in your lives, okay? We got Aphrodite, eternal love, and we got ask Lepios, okay? Sacred medicine, all right? Now, this one part could have to do, um, for somebody, one part could have to do with you guys emanating your inner god or goddess, and then as Lepios with sacred medicine, the second moving part could have to do with some type of healing gift or ability or skill that you all have. Okay, so if I put those two together, this is like you are a God in your hood, okay? And you have access to some type of sacred medicine. So you're going to be like, this is like miracles. There's a miracle that's going to happen. Expect a miracle, okay? These two moving parts that come together, expect a miracle. Y'all, I'm drawn to the card at the bottom of the deck and it is Athena, wise decision. It will be wise of you to expect a miracle at this time. Okay? That's the energy that I'm getting because I feel like that's the vibe. God is in the season um, of handing out a miracle or doing something miraculous. Okay? And he's going to use two moving parts to do it. He's going to use the God within and he's going to use a special gift of healing that you have. Wow. Okay. All right. Well, there we go. We didn't know at first, and now we know what the two moving parts will be. I feel like that's that, okay? At the bottom of the deck, Mawu Lisa with balance, okay? We're going to keep this one, even though it's, what is it? It's Wednesday. We're going to keep it short, okay? We went a little long on the beginning part of the read, so we're going we're gonna to wind it on down here, okay? Break it on down. Y'all, I want to take a minute, and I want to look at the overall energy for this read from our Spiritually Rich AF deck, Inanna Speaks, okay? So, you guys are advised, ask God, I was like, okay, Lord, so you're showing me this sign, the compass, and your, your vision, you show me your vision to make us whole, okay, I got it, and you're going to use two moving parts to do it, okay, woo, got it, all right, and then I was like, well, what should we be doing, okay, and he says, you guys are advised to be the eyes of God, as this is how he expects you to assist him. But not only him, he expects you to assist others, okay? So I'm going to let each of you guys digest that as you see fit, okay? Or as it is res resignant, mm, relevant, excuse me, relevant to your journey, okay? Um, your spiritual path, all right? Okay, so we already had this one the other day. This is cell therapy. Who's that peeping in my window? Ah, nobody now. Okay, so no, we're not going to do that one. Let's get another one. Overall energy. Something is, has been explosive. There's something that came out. It's been a tower. Okay, there's been a tower. All right. There's been a tower and someone's been exposed. Overall energy for this read. Thank you, angels and spirit guides. Thank you, Most High, for using me as a vessel to get messages to your children. Y'all, thank you so much for hitting that like button so far, if you haven't already, okay? All right, it says, happy Friday, breakthrough day, okay? So the energy of the squirrel. The squirrel spiritual meaning talks about rebirth, renewal, okay? Renewal and rebirth, Um energy, positivity, hard work, duty, and balance, okay? Well, we got my Lisa out here with balance, so we're on the right track here, okay? We're on the right track. This is the overall energy for the read. What's at the bottom of the deck? Okay, it says spiritually transformed. So y'all done went through a spiritual transformation, okay? Um, Kali Ma came out already in Tuesday's read, so that's confirmed. Um, it says, I am diligent, okay? You guys' diligence has really paid off, Okay. Um, let me tell you, y'all, the fire is to purify you, okay? The fire is purification, and fire is equated um, or resonates with the Spirit of God, okay? So you guys could have had, like, I don't know, it's a vibe, okay? I'm just going to leave it right there, but butterfly energy is here, okay? Someone's been transformed, okay? Someone also received a message. Someone got your message, okay? All right. Let's go ahead and pull from the Wonder Warrior deck. Oh, hold on. Let's see what energies are significant for Wednesday. Wednesday energy. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Whew. What signs are significant for Wednesday? 
Oh, damn. Well, Fifties, you come out every single day. <laughs> Warriors, we always showing up, okay? We showing up at all times, every time. Mm -hmm. Getting from point A to point B. So you guys, we've transformed. God is about to be using these moving parts to make us whole or complete us. Okay, we've kind of figured out what those two moving parts might be. We got the scales here with balance, okay, Mawulisa. And God is asking you all to be his eyes, okay? So warriors, okay, you guys are emanating your inner God or goddess energy. You guys could be, whether you're masculine or feminine, you guys are emanating the energy of the divine at this time, okay? So we got Aslethios, sacred medicine. What's up with this sacred medicine, Holy Spirit? What sign has got this sacred medicine going on? What energy? Oh, okay, Libra. That's weird how that happened. All right, Libra, balance. So it's something, okay, so warriors, you guys' ability to balance yourselves, heal yourselves is very significant. Virgo, we're going to take you and put you at the bottom of the deck. Okay, Virgo, digest. All right, Mawulisa. All right. Okay, now let's pull for Wonder Warrior energy. See what's going on here. So you guys have been diligent. You have been balancing them scales. You guys have been staying balanced out. Okay. You guys are going to be the eyes for God. Okay. visions you guys if you guys have a lot of visions dreams downloads okay um it's going to be very significant at this time as it is going to be used to balance the scales as well not just for yourself but for everybody okay so pay attention to your dreams your visions that you all are having at this time your downloads that you're receiving okay as i'm hearing they are prophetic all right all right it says i am superhuman we are superhuman, still alive. You guys nailed it, okay? I made it, okay? I made it, okay? Y'all made it. Um, Ophiuchus, chosen, we made it, okay? Feeling light on your feet. I am purposely living, okay? 999, Monday could have been very significant for you, Libra, all right? As Monday, um, looks like you guys started a new cycle on Monday. Some of you all could be starting your cycle on Monday, ladies, Okay. Oh, bottom of the deck. My bad, y'all. Okay, the bottom of the deck, we got the octopus. Okay, the octopus symbolizes the mystery of the unknown. Octopus are create creatures of the night, spending the day hidden away in caves or under rocks. Okay, so right now, Virgo energy is hermit. Virgo is the hermit. And this octopus is talking about spending your days hidden and coming out at night. All right. You guys could get a lot of activity, like your spiritual gifts could really heighten in this next season at nighttime, okay? That's what I'm getting from that, all right? Um, let's go ahead and pull tea on this read for a hump day. I feel like that's some advice for you guys or a little, little hint, a little secret right there, you guys. Try to switch up your reads to nighttime for a little bit um, or just pay attention. Pay attention at night. Pay attention to what you see in the dark. Pay attention to what you see when you're asleep. This could be a good time as well for you guys to go outside at night, okay? Maybe to go outside, walk around your yard at nighttime, okay? Something significant about that, being in the night, being in the dark, being in hermit energy. You guys could be directed to take some time out soon. Okay, maybe Thursday. I know I spoke in another reading about Thursday. You guys taking a spa day Thursday. Okay. Something you're going to receive or be given. It feels like it's going to allow for a miracle to happen. Okay. So we got a lot of tea this time, y'all. Got a lot of tea. Okay, Capricorn. It says bounce back. Okay, so this weekend, y'all are about to bounce back. Something about this surprise, 
because this is the same fairy godmother that's in another card that I did a reading on. And I was saying that there's a surprise coming. Okay, chosen. Okay. Um, week three, 3 a.m. Capricorn again. You awake? Guess what? Yeah, something about 3 a.m., the nighttime hours, okay? Um, you guys, last night I got woke up at 3 a.m. out of my sleep and I wrote down a message. So it's already begin, okay? You're going to get weird messages in the nighttime, okay? Um, remember, your dreams are prophetic, okay? We got Jazz Anderson, Tyson, okay? Love and divine, divinely aligned. So y'all out here on some Mike Tyson stuff. You guys are divinely aligned, okay, Chosen? Uh, we got Goddess Code, Fire Signs, Mount Up, okay? Leo, Aries, Sagittarius, the number 112, the number 1, the number 12, and the number 7 is significant, all right? And lastly here, we got Pisces, Feel My Hugs, okay? The song is called Grow Old With You. <sighs> Pisces energy is significant for you, Virgo. This is your shadow I wonder what the date of this reading will be Wednesday because we have a full moon approaching on the 29th. I'm feeling like this energy of the next full moon is going to be coming in earlier than what is perceived. Like, um, how do I say that? Like, it says that the full moon will be here on the 29th, but the energy of the full moon will be here before the 29th. Let me see what date Wednesday's reading will be. Um, anyway, this says, uh, grow old with you, okay? Because I'm telling, talking about going outside at night, and the only time really it would be beneficial to do that is when it's a full moon, because that way you can receive the energy um, that you need. Just like we're, we're crystal energy. We are crystal energies, okay? Uh, we are crystals. All right. I've said this in another in other reads in the past, and it's important for us to go outside, not only when it's a full moon, but also when the sun is out and sunbathe. So just like we would sunbathe, we also need to moon, moon. I'm hearing moon gaze. OK, so we sunbathe and we moon gaze. OK, take that as it resonates. Um but let me see something. At the bottom of the deck, Virgo, I'm giving you these two right here since the other signs got two. Uh, we got Grow Old With You by Post Malone, and then we have Body Party by Sierra. Both of these are set. These are Pisces cards, y'all. So it's like you guys are thrown into your opposite signs at this time. Something very significant about that. Uh, let me look and see what the date What will be the date next Wednesday? It'll be the 27th and the full moon is on Friday. Okay, so yeah, Wednesday, you guys, we're going to start feeling the energy of the full moon ahead of time. Okay, so y'all get on out there, moon gaze, or walk in the night, get outside, okay, at nighttime, all right? Um, it will be beneficial for you guys' energy, all right, as we are crystal beings. Okay, has nothing to do with doing any type of magic, y'all, because you know I don't play that shit over here. We not doing that, okay? I am royalty. I'm royalty. I ain't got to do no magic, okay? I am the magic, all right? I'm just saying. Okay, so anyway, but to each his own. If you into that, that's your thing. Y'all keep that over there, okay? <laughs> don't bring that shit over here, okay? That's what I was saying. I'm hearing words to your mama, okay? <laughs> all right. So let's get it here. Short and sweet for this reading. What is our short and sweet, Holy Spirit? Short and sweet for, ooh, look, spell work. I'm just saying, keep that shit over there, okay? Loving you ain't good for me. I'm liquid gold, okay? Somebody playing with the devil. What's at the bottom of this deck? Emotional roller coaster. Yeah, we ain't here. We ain't doing that. We putting all that energy back, y'all. I'm not claiming that over here with us. We not having it, okay? No more. No, okay? It's not welcome. I feel like that's making a, a very bold point, okay? The spell work is not welcome here, okay? The devil is not welcome here, okay? Shout out to Bad Boys, all right? You guys may need to check out the movie Bad Boys starring Martin Lawrence and Will Smith, okay? Y'all know I like to give y'all movie time energy as well as music. Okay, short and sweet for this reading. Thank you, angels and spirit guides, for clear and precise messages. 
What is our short and sweet for Wednesday, Holy Spirit? Because we ain't welcoming no spell work, okay? We not inviting that into our space. Okay, yeah, because this disturbs the peace. Okay, somebody going to try to disturb your peace, though. Okay, but it's not going to be effective. All barking, no bite. Okay, they're going to they're gonna be louder than they, they bite is. Okay, they bite ain't even biting on nothing. Okay, like you're not even going to feel this. All right, but that's that type of a vibe. So what I'm getting based off what I just said is somebody may try to do some type of spell work this next full moon, but you're not even going to feel it. Okay, all right. It's going to maybe be louder than, than, than what the effect is but it's ineffective so it ain't it's not gonna touch you all right you guys this has been your read for wednesday i hope you guys enjoyed it and my lovelies i'll see you guys on the next one bye babes